In question three of this series, we're asked, find the slope of the tangent to the curve y is equal to the square root of x at the point four and two by the delta method. Let's follow these steps. In step number one, they want us to substitute x plus delta x into x and y plus delta y into the y part of the function. So this part becomes y plus delta y and this part becomes the square root of x plus delta x. In step two, they want us to model the limit expression, and that's shown right here. The limit expression, namely the numerator part, we have y plus delta y, which is this, minus y. So what I will do is subtract the left and the right side by minus y. And here's what happens when you do that. You have y plus delta y minus y, just introduce that minus y. And on the right side, I have the square root of x plus delta x minus y. And remember, our function is defined as the square root of x. So instead of writing minus y, I'll write down what y is actually equal to, which is the square root of x. In step number three, they want us to simplify and take the limit as delta x approaches zero. But before I do that, before I insert this expression back into my limit, namely up here, what I will do is a technique known as rationalizing the numerator. This technique will help us simplify the expression so that it's easier to take the limit in later steps. Also what's interesting about this technique is that it's a lot different than rationalizing the denominator. Here's what I mean by all of that. I'll start by rewriting this expression on the right over here. x plus delta x minus delta x. What you do to rationalize the numerator is multiply the top and the bottom of this expression by the conjugate of this expression. The conjugate of a binomial, this is a binomial two terms, is when the second term has its sign flipped. So I'll multiply this by x plus delta x, and the second term is the square root of x, so I'll make that plus square root of x, and I'll do the same thing underneath. So this expression is the conjugate of this expression. And by doing that, I'll continue to do my math underneath, we now have a binomial times a binomial. And if I multiply this term to this term, this is called expanding, we end up with x plus delta x. Next, we'll multiply this term with this term. And this requires some knowledge of radicals. In case you don't know, if you multiply two radicals, with the same index, notice that they're both square roots, you can multiply what's inside the radicals together. So this radicand can multiply with this radicand. So I have x times x plus delta x, x times x is x squared, x times delta x is delta x times x. So I have plus the square root of x squared plus delta x times x. I'll erase my work. Now, I'll multiply this term with this term, where I end up with the same expression, except with a minus. So minus the square root of x squared plus delta x times x. And you'll notice right away that this will cancel out with this, which is exactly what we want. We want to rationalize the numerator. And lastly, this term times this term, that gives us the square root of x squared, which is equal to x. And of course, at the bottom, we have this expression times one, so it's the exact same expression. The square root of x plus delta x plus the square root of x. I'll clean this up for you just so that it looks clearer. Okay, so now I can replace this part of my limit with what I found underneath this expression. And if I do that, I'll end up with the limit as delta x approaches zero for the expression that we just found over delta x. Here we have a fraction divided by a monomial, an expression with one term. So what happens here is this expression goes underneath. So once again, the limit as delta x approaches zero, we have this part, x plus delta x minus x. And notice that 
this x and this x will cancel out now, over this expression times delta x. At this point, you should also notice that this delta x and this delta x will cancel out, leaving us with the limit as delta x approaches 0, 1 over the square root of x plus delta x plus the square root of x. Now, if I take the limit as x approaches 0, this term becomes 0, and we are left with 1 over the square root of x plus the square root of x. That's like saying x plus x. We know x plus x is 2x. So in our case here, we have 1 over 2 times the square root of x. This expression, the one that I'm highlighting, is the derivative of the function we started with. And I'll denote this as dy over dx. This represents the function that will enable us to find the slope at any x value. So the point that they wanted was at 4 and 2. What I'll do is substitute x is equal to 4. This will give us 1 over 2 times the square root of 4, which is 2, so 1 over 4. 1 over 4 represents the slope at the point 4 and 2. I've provided a visual on the screen right now just to give you an idea of the difference between the original function and the derivative. And there you have it. That is how to find the derivative by the delta method.